Good day, everybody. Um, it's just something I've been working on as a bit of a Christmas gift to my sister and my mother. Um, something totally different. I'm not really a woodwork man as such. I've never done much of it, but it's a towel rail, pretty much. Um, very substantial. Um, and that's because it sort of doubles as a bit of a steady rail, you know, when you sort of stand on one leg or something where you're in the bathroom kind of thing, you know, like when, you, when you're taking off your pants or something. I know where to bloody... But anyhow, it's, um... Just to give you a demo, you know, it's just sort of... It's not bloody absolutely millimetre perfect, and the wide angle lens is making it look worse. But it's not bad for a first go. My completely my own design. Help if the bloody thing would stay straight. I mean, it's not not totally it's not totally square and stuff. It's not perfect, but yeah, not much I can do about that, unfortunately. It's, I've tried to make it out in the same ways, so it looks sort of on purpose. But like that end isn't square, I can tell. But I was going to put screws in the. Um, in the, in the dowels, but I ended up gluing them in, and well, they look fine anyway. They're not going anywhere, so yeah, I can put. I can actually put my body weight on these dowels. Not that I'm very heavy, but if you if you just want to steady yourself on it, it'd be perfect. Um, it's better than the twenty dollar um, Bunnings towel rail they've got at the moment, which is kind of a similar sort of idea. It's you know it's made of metal and it's got I pr presume they're aluminium um, die cast ends. It's only screwed into the plasterboard, whereas this is going to use these 10G by 75mm screws. They're self-drilling, but yeah, when you're dealing with Australian hardwood, you might as well forget it. Um, but it's, it's fairly nice timber, this. I do like I do like timber, you know, when it's, when it's nice like that. It's a shame it's not all dead square, but I mean, you can't really... You can't really tell with the wide-angle lens, but... Anyway, it is out slightly. It's not out much. Like, it's probably out maybe two or three mil. But I don't have drill presses or anything, and I've got no shed or bench. Like, this has been the workshop bench, but that's only because we've just tinted the windows. We've done that window there, um, and the kitchen window. The camera makes it look a lot brighter, plus the fluoro, but if I turn off these two lights, yeah, it's not actually that bad. This this window hasn't been tinted. That's sort of doesn't give you much of an idea, but that gives you an idea of what would be would be coming in that window there. So if you compare the two, the front door and that window, yeah, there's actually a really big difference in brightness. And this is the tint film there. It's um five percent mirrored tint film. You know, you can still see through it. Like if you put the camera up, you can still see through it. Um, but it's it's pretty dark. So that's what I've been doing. 